So I've had fun experimenting with this little easy cookie recipe. If you like almond flavor, you are sure to love these. This is like a little Italian cookie, and it has a very nice crisp exterior and soft interior. And so most of the ingredients I picked up at a store called Aldi. You really don't need hardly any ingredients for this. You need about three main ingredients and the rest you probably already have in your refrigerator or your pantry and I like this also because it's carb friendly and gluten free so here are the ingredients if you'd like to jot them down and then here are the ingredients that I got from Aldi almond flour almond extract and powdered sugar along with their parchment paper which I really like and then of course granulated sugar, salt, and egg I already had. So for the equipment that we'll need is a mixing bowl, a spatula, digital scales, a little cup here, and then I like these little measuring spoons. This, I think, would make a great gift for somebody who likes to bake. It measures those real small increments we sometimes need. And you'll need something to bake your cookies on, of course. And I went ahead and put my parchment paper on there. And then I have a cooling rack, and you'll need something with a whisk attachment, a hand mixer, or your stand mixer. So we'll start by separating out the egg yolk. We just want the egg whites. And I'm going to strain this out because we need to measure our egg white. I want the real thick part of the egg white and then I can use whatever's left over to get my measurement correct. So into my mixing bowl I'm measuring out tw um, 30 grams of egg white. So I'm using a little bit more that was strained out, it's a little bit more watery. Got my 30 grams there. It's time to go ahead and preheat the oven to 325 and so we will whisk these egg whites until they're nice and frothy and they'll start to thicken up a little bit and then this is what you're looking for when they reach this stage then you can begin to add your granulated sugar so I just wanted to stop the mixer there to show you guys what it should look like and you can add up to a half a cup up to 100 grams of sugar if you like I'm using a third of a cup which is around 66 grams and then I'm going to add three quarters of a teaspoon of almond extract one teaspoon is a little bit too much for my taste and a half is not enough so just experiment I'm making a small batch here for you guys so you can um, try out what kind of flavors you like if you like it a little bit sweet a little less almond go for it now in goes our almond flour this is one cup of almond flour about a hundred grams and in goes the pinch of salt and we want to whisk this together pretty good here and then in goes the egg mixture Let's combine the flour and the egg mixture and just keep working with it until it looks about like this. Now it'll be real wet and that's fine. Now I don't have a little cookie scoop so I'm going to make these homemade. They'll look pretty irregular but that's fine. And then dip them in the powdered sugar and onto our baking sheet and now into the oven. And I'm putting these on the top rack because before I have burned them on my lower middle rack. So I thought to keep it safe, we'll go for the top rack. So that's what I suggest that you do. Bake them for about 11 minutes. Let these cool and set up. And if you want that outside to be a little bit more crispy, you can certainly bake these in the oven for about another five to six minutes on about 300 degrees because you really want that outside to be nice and crispy. Uh, but if you leave them in there too long, up to about 15 minutes or so, they tend to flatten out. So I would suggest letting them set up and then bake twice to get a nice crispy exterior and a soft fluffy interior. So I hope you're able to try this cookie out. Uh, we have really enjoyed it and they are so simple. Thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.